As a quick review for there's three classes of information warfare. Class one is personal information warfare. Back in the early days, uh, we didn't have the name identity theft for it. Uh, but it was the issue of in cyberspace, you're guilty until proven innocent. Uh, privacy disappearing. Most of the internet evangelists in the early days said, nah, that will never happen. The internet is wonderful. It's great for everybody. It's a great equalizer. Yet we forgot to look at the downside of it. When I was uh, with Bill Gates over in uh, Germany in the mid 90s, I uh, we were at a press conference and I asked him a question. I said, What's going to happen with digital addiction? People are going to get addicted to all this stuff on the internet. No, nah, it'll never happen. Next, we knew about these things. Class two information warfare. We used to call it industrial espionage. Lots of different phrases for it today. Uh, in that group, I also include what now we call uh, criminal terrorism, uh, cybercrime, organized cybercrime. All of those things, whether it's intellectual property, uh, mass spam, identity theft issues, all of that that was not real, didn't exist 20 years ago. But when we have a technology that we provide to everybody that is very, very powerful, what reason did we have to assume that the bad guys were not going to take advantage of it for their own use? We tended to believe back in those days that it was going to be a panacea. And the question I kept getting asked in those days was, why would the bad guys bother with the internet? What good is it for them? It was about capability, just as in warfare, military conflict has always been about understanding your adversary's capabilities, not their intentions. That's a separate analysis entirely. Again, we chose to ignore it. And then when we get into class three, 20 years ago they said it's impossible, it will never happen. Russia will never launch a DDoS attack against Estonia. There never will be cyber warfare. China will never come after our critical infrastructures. It will never happen. Yet what are we seeing today? In the paper, it was two days ago, finally the Pentagon releases massive, massive attacks against the Pentagon that they believe is now coming from Russia, whether it's the Russian government, whether it's cyber gangs, whether it's some group in the middle buying and selling, who knows right now? Your own paper. You're going to hear about it here in the next couple of days. The amount of critical infrastructure attacks that are going on. We knew it was going to come. But through apathy and arrogance, we chose to do nothing. And our backs are up against the wall now more than they ever have 